You are also what on the state board as well. Okay. Yes, that, um, that's how we're gonna do it. Yes. Then I'm gonna come down to your lovely office and show you how to do your job. How about that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> how about that? Excuse me, good people and bad. It's your man Rob Sergio Mac with the Three Keys Podcast, and I got one of my dear friends. She is the current president of the Nashville Mortgage Bankers Association. Got it. And she's also on the board of the Tennessee Mortgage Bankers Association. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Mrs. Tiffany Cersei Wright. How you doing? Thank you. I'm doing great. I'm glad to be here on a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day to be in real estate, isn't it? It is always, always a beautiful day to be in real estate. I love this industry, as you do too. That's yeah. why we are friends in business and friends in life, but we both love what we do and helping people. So, yeah, it's yeah, a great you day. Yeah, you put some time in. How long have you been in real estate now? So, I have been in mortgage real estate finance for about 28 years. One thing I love about you, Tiffany, is because ever since I met you, I met you on the battlefield. I met you in the trenches. You bring a lot of like-minded people around. And so working with you with uh, the Nashville Association of Real Estate Brokers, Mm -hmm. I learned that you are extremely passionate about creating homeowners, uh, minority homeowners, first-time homeowners, but also deserving people to have housing. I just took on a position with First Horizon, Mm -hmm. which used to be First Tennessee Bank here in our market for a long time, but First Horizon as a vice president and mortgage banker. So um, super excited about that. They've got some really, really, really good programs and products that will allow me to, what I, what we call, go out there in the street mm-hmm. and really um, have opportunities for people to, very different lanes for people to have access or what we do more often than anything, particularly in this particular market, is we got to get people excited again about real mm-hmm. estate. Mm-hmm. You know, there's so much bad media out there, like, you know, doomsday and the rates and the rates and the rates. In actuality, if you've got a plan, if you've done your homework and you've done your research and you're realistic and honest, you absolutely can buy a house right now. You absolutely can get access to generational wealth. You've got to stop looking at it, how it's being portrayed as like, a, you know, a looming debt, debt, debt. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm not saying not be realistic, right. but you've got to see it as what it truly is. It's an asset. Mm-hmm. It's an asset. It still is the easiest way for a mainstream consumer to gain access to generational wealth. When it comes to generational wealth, yes, you got home ownership that helps build and maintain that. You have life insurance uh, that helps build and maintain that, and these things work hand in hand. Anything worth having, mm-hmm. okay, any any goal that you have, and the reason why it's a goal is because it's something you've got to work for, right? Mm-hmm. And a lot of those goals aren't easy goals. Right. Or other, they probably wouldn't be goals. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Homeownership is, it, is not any different. Mm-hmm. Everybody comes from a different starting point. So you have to look within yourself, look at your financial picture and say, because a lot of times people try to, even within your family, it's like, okay, well, my cousin did this or my sister did this. Well, not everybody, every every starting point is equal. You might be looking at your coworkers. Mm-hmm. You have to determine, and that's a, that's positive or negative, mm-hmm. okay? Because just just because something negative happened to your coworker doesn't mean that's going to happen to you. Absolutely. Everybody has their own story, okay? Everybody has their own starting point. The key thing is you need to know well what's my starting point. Mm-hmm. I look at it like running a marathon, okay? If that's one of your goals, unless you're just like in great shape or something like that, you're that's probably you're still going to have to have probably two or three months preparation to right. run a marathon, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Now, if you are overweight or not very healthy or have some other things going on, I'm not saying that can't be a goal of yours, but you're going to have to plan out some things. It might be a year from now where you're like, okay, I'm going to give myself a year's goal to run that marathon. Well, homeownership is no different. If that's one of your goals, 
you have to sit down, particularly with somebody like me and yourself, a professional, they can give you that, you know, that, you know, diagnosis and the right prescription. Because at the end of the day, that's really all it's about. It's it's getting information. Mm-hmm. Information is powerful. I, what I see the biggest hurdle is people hear all that negativity and they just push it to the side and say, that's not for me. Mm-hmm. You can't do that. If you know there's I can I can throw a thousand thousand statistics out there mm-hmm. about the benefits of home ownership. We all know that. I don't think that there's anybody that really can sort of debate that. There's tons of benefits to home ownership. You have to decide, okay, what what's going to be my journey? What's going to be my plan? What's my plan of action? So my biggest thing is a lot of people right now, they won't even start the conversation. Let's just, it's a conversation. Right. That doesn't, nothing. it costs you nothing. Tiffany Cersei Wright. Before I let you go, I need you to tell the good people how they can get in contact with you for all of their real estate needs. Oh, man. So if you are interested in having a conversation, I don't don't like to even say application. I guess technically that's what it is. But, Mm -hmm. you know, having a conversation and really seeing where you can start the process of purchasing a home, it might be even if or if, even if you're a homeowner and you need to figure out ways to open access to credit and the benefits that credit puts there, you can reach me. My cell phone number is 615-497-6389. Um, my email is tiffany.wright at firsthorizon.com. All right, good people. Like I always say, it's never a wrong time to buy the right house. Message. And it's never a bad time to have a good conversation. And my lender of the moment and one of my most dear friends in this business and one of my most dear friends in this life yes is tiffany cersei Wright. please give her a call Ditto. and um tiffany i'm gonna tell you something from the bottom of my heart tell me <laughs>